Hey guys, Magnus Robert here bringing you another Dead Walking Dead character video. This time we will be doing some more COVID characters and we are continuing to look at members of the Maze family. Last week I looked at Maze, the sort of threat of that episode, but this week I'll be looking at Maze's twin brother and his sister-in-law and his niece. So, Mr, Mrs and Miss Maze. Mr Maze is of course male, he is played by Robert Patrick, the same actor who played the other Maze, so don't get confused. He is early 60s and appeared in One More. Mrs. Mays is of course female. She is played by Barbara Hooper, who in real life is Robert Patrick's wife. She is early 60s and a picture of her and her body appeared in One More. Miss Mays is of course female. She is played by an unknown actress. We don't know who played her. She was a toddler or infant at the time of the outbreak, but judging from her body, she was anywhere from 5 to 12 when she died. And she, like her mother, also appeared as a body and a picture in the episode One More. Nothing much is known about these three before the outbreak apart from they lived together and were close to Maze, their respective uncle, brother and brother-in-law. After the outbreak began, the four family members survived together for many years, until one fateful day Maze caught Mr. Maze stealing the last of his food from his stash. As a result, Mays made his twin brother play Russian Roulette with his wife and his daughter. The rules of the game were that Mr. Mays could either shoot himself or his wife and daughter. In both cases, Mr. Mays chose to save his own life and killed both his wife and his daughter, so RIP to them. Mays then locked up his brother to live with what he did and presumably moved from location to location with him. He also brought the bodies of Mr. Mays' daughter and his wife. At some point, Mays set up base in a warehouse. There, he imprisoned his brother, Mr. Mays, in the attic. In season 10, Mr. Mays is in the attic when Mays confronts Gabriel and Aaron. After the two men kills Mays, they go up to the attic looking for Mays' supplies, and there they find Mr. Mays chained up in the attic. Mr. Maves tells the two men he made me play, as the men see the bodies of Mr. Maves' wife and daughter. Gabriel tells Mr. Maves they are not going to hurt him, and Gabriel goes to unlock Mr. Maves' chains. But as Gabriel is unlocking them, Mr. Maves snatches the revolver from Gabriel's side. He points it at Aaron and Gabriel, as Gabriel tries to talk down the man. But instead, Mr. Maves just quite simply turns the gun on himself. Gabriel and Aaron continue to plead, but Mr. Mays does this. Louis! Shooting himself in the head just like he wished he did all those years ago. Mr. Mays lays dead on the floor next to the bodies of his family. Mr. Mays and his family are tragic victims of the world. They highlight the evil of Mays, but they also act as a tragic tale. It's clear that Mr. Mays could not live with the guilt of his family's deaths on his conscience, and it's clear Gabriel and Aaron in his mind were going to be no different to his brother. His brother had ingrained the idea that evil is all that people were, including his himself. So as a result, Mr. Mays couldn't live any longer. Thanks for watching. I wanted to just get these three out of the way. I found their backstory quite interesting. So tell me your thoughts on Mr. Mays and his family. Next week, I'm going to be doing some of Maggie's group who died in the first COVID episode. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.